Hey guys, welcome back to Ignite Fitness. Hope you're all feeling amazing and ready to crush today's workout. Today we are going to do a weighted Pilates workout. So what we're going to use for today is a set of ankle weights or wrist weights, whichever you have, whichever you prefer. If you do not have wrist or ankle weights, this workout is still completely doable as a body weight Pilates class. Let's dive into it guys. We are going to do a warm up with this one, so don't worry about doing anything beforehand. Let's jump into it now. Sitting cross-legged in easy seat, we're just going to begin with some seated spinal rotations. Right from the beginning, guys, I want you to start thinking about your breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, finding that length as we strengthen today. Seeing if you can get a little further with each rotation, really opening up the heart and warming up the spine. Beautiful. One more each direction. And let's meet neutral. Hands on the thighs. We're just gonna roll out those shoulders, rolling them back, up, pulling them all the way up into your ears, all the way down the spine. Beautiful. And we'll take it forward, rounding through those shoulders, really working the scapula, warming everything up, preparing our bodies for work, lovely. Keeping the hands on the knees, we're gonna rotate the head, finding some mobility in our neck. Beautiful, nice and slow, take your time with this, all the way around. One more in this direction. Beautiful, let's stop and take it all the way the other way. Sticking with the breath, focusing on our pranayama. Beautiful, rotate it all the way back to a neutral neck. And we'll come into some nice lateral side bends, alternating each way with our breath. allow that gaze to follow the arm if that's in your practice today you could look down at the floor whatever feels good to the body beautiful one more each side love it guys let's meet in tabletop and move through our cat cow hands under the shoulders knees under the hips let's arch our back take the chin up towards the ceiling or cat, sorry for cow. Inhale, round the spine all the way up for cat. No matter how many times I teach cat cow, I always mix them up. <laughs> round it out. Moving with your own breath here. Going with your body's natural flow. So the pace that I move at, guys, is not always going to be the pace that feels the most natural to your body. back in neutral spine. You can sink back for a quick child's pose. Reaching those fingertips up. And we'll shift forward and we're going to come into a nice bird dog. So taking the opposite leg out, opposite hand, we're going to lift and hold. So just finding that extension through the body, lengthening our arm out, keeping it active, driving down through that supporting palm. Leg is long, glutes are engaged. From here we're going to tap it down and lift it up. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Give me four, three, two, and one. Take it up and hold. Push it out. From here we're going to take it out on the angle. Leg goes out, arm goes out. Challenging our balance. Beautiful. Keeping a nice soft neck here. Hold for five, Four, three, two, one, come center and release it down. Let's take it onto the other side. Take a moment to find your balance, find your extension, and we'll lift. Draw that belly in, lock those abdominals. You got this, guys, doing beautifully. Find that length, active arm, engaging those lat muscles. 
those big muscles here that run down our back. That's what we're engaging as we activate that arm. Let's tap it down and lift. Squeeze your glute. Give me four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, take it out on the angle. Hold it here. Challenge that balance for five, four, three, two, one. Come center and release it down. Beautiful, guys. We are going to jump into the bulk of our workout now. So if you are using your wrist or ankle weights, feel free to set it up. Today I'm just going to stick with my ankle weights as I prep myself, get all set up. I am using two pound ankle weights. So there's two pounds on each leg. There is a variety, you can really go up anywhere up to five pounds. For a lot of this like more endurance style work, one to three pounds is plenty for each ankle. If you're new to using ankle weights, one pound is a perfect place to start. All right, I'm gonna get the timer set up and then I will demo our first move. We're gonna go with slow rocket launchers. So we're gonna come into high plank. We're gonna shift our bums back toward our heel and drive the hips forward rocket launches. So taking your time, finding that nice round through the spine, driving it forward. We're going for a whole minute, guys, with a 25 second rest in between each of our movements today. Are we ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push the hips back. Take your time. I want you to move with ultimate control here. And to move with control, that means engaging through those abs squeezing them tight and breathing shift it back strong body strong mind guys we've got this beautiful stick with it we're over halfway through this one Covering those knees. Almost there, guys. Two and one. Beautiful. Come on up. Grab a sip of water. Come up nice and slow, right? Allow the blood to return to the body at normal. Quick sip of water, and we are going to weighted step backs. So it's gonna look like this. Feet in a moderately narrow stance, hands together. We're going to step the weight back and drive it in, alternating feet. Belly in, let's go guys. All together now for a minute. Stepping it back. Again, taking your time, finding that control. Whenever we use ankle weights in a standing position, it is going to challenge our balance. You can use your arms as leverage to keep with the balance. You can find a drishti, a focal point on the floor to help your stance. But make sure you've got that nice bend in your knees. You're sinking low so that you can engage that glute muscle as we step it back. seconds guys we've got this step it back stay strong beautiful come on up to stand we're gonna go into an inchworm now with a leg extension it's going to look like this we're gonna tuck our chin roll the body down walk it out to high plank find your stance lift lift walk it back in and roll it all the way up for a minute. Let's go guys, all together, roll it down. Walk those hands out, strong high plank, leg extension, leg extension, walk it in. Take your time. If you're new to this kind of compound movement, it takes a little while for the mind to catch up. Slow it down, take your time. Really feeling that beautiful stretch on the back of the hamstrings. Walk 
tuck it in. We're already halfway through this one, guys. You were doing incredible. Extend, extend. Focusing on drawing that belly in. 10 seconds. Can we fit a whole one more in? Let's go roll it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. Come on back up. Take your second, have your water, stay hydrated. We're gonna step into a reverse lunge with a pulse. So step back, pulse, and as we come up, we're going to drive the knee. So if you need to hold onto a wall or a chair for support to help with balance today, that is totally okay. Three, two, one. All on one leg, guys. Step and drive it up. Step back, pulse, drive it up. Find your focal point. Find something to focus on that's gonna aid in that balance. And as we drive that knee up, squeeze the belly. We're over halfway on this side. Strong body, strong mind. Can you feel your core working against that weight? Last one. Beautiful, guys. You know what it looks like, right? We do something on one side, we gotta repeat it on the other. I want you to focus really on great form for this next set. Stepping it back, 90-90 in those knees. Nice, strong form. Pushing off that front heel to engage the core to lift the knee. Let's go together, guys. Step it back. Draw that knee up. Steady and strong. workouts guys they're all about honoring your body where it's at flooding it with oxygen Pilates is really about loving movement I feel like it combines the best of so many worlds in the fitness industry we can incorporate weight training we can incorporate yoga it's a really beautiful practice less than 15 on this side Beautiful guys, coming on down to the mat. We're gonna come into a supported side plank with a leg lift. So this is where it's gonna get a little spicy, a little intense. If at any point you need to take the weight, the ankle weights off, do so and just go with your body. So up on the knee, top leg stays out straight. We're going to lift and lower that leg. Three, two, one. We're here for a minute. So take your time. This is not about reps. Pilates is never about reps, guys. It's about feeling good. It's about that length. It's about the breath. <sighs> Squeezing through those oblique muscles as we lift, drive up through that hip. So the supporting glute is going to feel this because it is lifting the body up as well. Halfway. So much so that I actually can't tell which glute is burning worse right now, the top one or the bottom. <sighs> 15 to go, we got this guys, stay with me, stay strong. Strong body, strong mind. What are we telling ourselves right now? I can do this, I can last this minute, I can do anything for 60 seconds, I am strong. And we are done, Woo! Spicy cheeks. We're gonna repeat on the other side. And the best thing about Pilates, is generally you do one move and it's done. 
There's not a lot of repeats in Pilates. All right, coming into that supportive stance, bent knee, plant that elbow, hips to the front. Let's lift, let's start to take up that leg. Because that glute has already worked, I can feel that this side's gonna be a bit more of a challenge for me. And there's a chance that as I progress through this minute, I might have to drop my ankle weight, but I'm gonna try to stay with it. Creating those nice round booties with this one, working the glute med and the glute min. We got 15 seconds to go. This one's making me sweat. <laughs> we are done. Oh my goodness. Wild, wild movements. Okay. Grab your water, take your 20 second rest. We're gonna switch it up and tackle the inner thighs this time. Down on our side once again, taking the bottom leg out straight, top leg goes over. We're going to lift and lower that inner thigh. Let's go guys. Keeping that elbow down for support. This is just a micro lift. We're not swinging that leg, it's controlled and it's all coming from that adductor muscle on the inside of our thighs. <sighs> Belly stays drawn in. We've got this. Does it burn? Of course it burns. If it didn't, why would we be here? And if it wasn't a challenge, everybody would do it every day. But that's what sets us apart, right? It's the ability to look at the challenge and say, it is what it is, I'm gonna do it anyway. 20 seconds, guys. Stay strong, stay strong. Use that breath to get you through. Five seconds. And breathe. Oh, goodness. We are definitely going to have a stretch after this one. I promise you that. I promise you that. Finding your setup on the other side. Bottom leg out straight, top leg over. Planting that foot for ultimate support. Grounding through all five toes. Whew, five seconds, guys. And we're tackling that other inner thigh. Let's do it, in it together. Together, let's finish it strong. You're doing amazing. Use your breath. Keep the neck soft if you need to let it go. And if you even need to come down, if you're finding that you're just burning out now, that this challenge is becoming too much, lay it down. As long as that inner thigh is still lifting, you are still working. Less than 20. Here we go guys, five, four, and rest it down, beautiful. We are crushing it guys, we've got three more moves in this workout and we are done. We are gonna switch to a slow donkey pulse. So either from your hands or your forearms, wherever you feel most comfortable, we're gonna take that heel up towards the sky, slow donkey pulses. So this is really all about control here. One minute, join me now. Drive it up. That belly's drawn in, the hips are parallel. All the work is originating right at that glute muscle, right where the hamstring and glute meet. This is where we're getting that nice lift. Breathing through. Keep the foot flexed, we're halfway through this one. 
There should be no arch in your low back. Draw that belly in, lock that belly button to your spine. Uddiyana Bandha here. Work your belly lock. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. Strong booty, strong mind, right? Or is it strong body, strong mind? And rest it down. If you'd like to sink it back for a quick child's pose, release some tension, release some pressure. Take a second to regain your mind. Beautiful. Let's shift it forward and find our stance for the other leg from your hands or from your forearms, whatever feels good. Flex that foot and let's drive it up. Control. Little pulses, so it's not coming all the way down. We're not actually releasing that contraction and that's why you feel that burn, right? Because we could draw that knee all the way in and release the contraction, but we're holding it. We're giving that muscle time under tension to really focus in and engage and burn and work and lift. Over halfway through this one, guys, and after this, we only have one more move. You are doing incredible. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. 15 seconds. The work has been put in today. Beautiful, shift it back, child's pose. Last 25 second rest, guys. Woo! Love it. Coming on to our backs. We've worked the legs primarily through this workout, but now we're gonna come in and just burn out the core. One last move. We're gonna come into some weighted bicycles. So on our backs, knees up, hands by the ears. We're gonna crisscross those elbows, bicycling it out. So yes, the hip flexors are gonna work here as well. So we're still bringing in a bit of the leg. But the core is really gonna have to work extra hard here to stabilize those weights on our ankles. Lifting that shoulder blade right off the mat. are done. Release those weights. Take them off the ankles. Take them off the wrists if that's what you're using and drop them down. We're going to come into a good morning stretch. So taking the hands over the head, point the toes and really stretch it out. Oh, feeling amazing. Beautiful. And we're slowly going to roll our bodies up to a seated position. We'll come into seated forward fold. Release those hamstrings a bit. So taking the arms up towards the ceiling and coming all the way forward fold. Maybe breathing into the stretch. Leading with the chest. Staying active. Beautiful. And we're gonna come on up, take our body all the way over to a seated pigeon. So we've got our front leg bent in front of us, hips are parallel, back leg is out long, belly drawn up and in. Find some space for the glute. Breathe into it. Allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears, holding no tension in your body. Allowing the muscles time to release. What a practice today, guys, wow. 
You are amazing. I hope you feel so good. I hope you feel proud of yourself. And I hope that this practice has encouraged you to show up for yourself once again. Step it back, switch legs. My hope for this channel is that you learn to honor your body and move it in a way that feels good and feels positive and feels serving to you. Not something that feels like a punishment or something that you have to do in order to eat. This is supposed to be something that you do so that you can feel good about yourself, so you can feel good about your body, so you can be healthy, so you can be strong, so you can be clear-headed. Beautiful. Release it down, come through to easy seat. Well done, guys. Let's give me a big inhale up. Take the arms all the way up to the sky. And release it down. And one more time, scoop it up. And release it down. Well done, guys. You did amazing today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.